Hello Goblins, it's Chris Eldritch Pipes. It's an episode of this week's Pipes. I was smoking. Some Carolina Red Flake. As I want to do. It's not a complex blend. Quite simple, quite straightforward, just pasty. Right, it's going to be quite a short video today. I've got three pipes. All three were available until literally to about half an hour before the video, and one of them sold. But the other, but so two are available. And, um, I'm going with this week I didn't have any commissions so I was going with my main lines sometimes even though you, you make a pipe a lot it's kind of like if you do have a little break I find that I want to go back to it again sharpen it up in my mind Mainly because I think when you're working with a piece of wood. Okay, here's the thing. Fairly often I will just draw a shape on a piece of wood and go for it. And that's fine, you know, doing something new. But when there's a shape that you are doing a lot, it's okay for it, for a shape to have a little tweak here and there, but more or less you're wanting some kind of a thing to be standardised. So if someone says, I saw someone with an acorn and I would like that acorn, when you make them that acorn and then they get it, it resembles what they were expecting. Expectation plays a big part in this game. I suppose it's because, I suppose in this day and age, I think I've talked about this a little bit before, but we're not so much selling pipes as we are selling pictures of pipes. That's the way it works on social media. You know, someone shows you, a, uh, I show you a picture of a pipe, you say, yes, I want that pipe. What you've really, well, you haven't seen the pipe, you've just seen a picture of the pipe, and, and you hope that that picture represents the pipe as faithfully as possible, so that when you get it, you know, you go, yes, this is the pipe I was expecting from the photographs that I've seen of it. <laughs> anyway, oh, one little point. The website is back up in a slightly uh, not up to date state. Apparently a version of the website was saved like a year ago. And uh, so my web guy was able to reinstate the website, but now I've got to go back and update it with a fair few um, pipes that are now no longer on it. But at least it's back up. You can go to it and peruse it. And I'll try and update it as soon as possible. I'll probably do it in bits and bobs. But we'll get there. All right, three pipes. This is the one that's sold. It's an acorn. It's a rusticated acorn. I really tried to go gnarly on this boy. Uh, which is not so easy because there's not a lot of uh, extraneous wood on an acorn. It's a fairly stripped down shape. Um, but, you know, I found a way to dig in.
They paired this with the um, Starry Night resin, which I really like. Uh, Damon Blast, Jay Furman, for leading me to it. So now I think I've got to make some more. If you can't tell, it's a cobalt blue with a cream uh, detail. So it's um, it's really pretty. Now one thing I did on this pipe, I don't normally do. If I'm doing uh, a black pipe, then it'll all be black, fairly obviously. But I just decided to do uh, a little band. So this is just a this is just the wood. It's not a band. Um, a little band of orange, just here and where the maker's mark is going to go. Just as a bit of in briar bling, <laughs> if you can call it that. But um, yeah, just that little flash of orange, because it's harmonious with the blue orange. So um, it's kind of nice. That's the first fellow. We can go there. Did a whole lot of um, spring cleaning in the workshop. Not in this part. You can't tell any difference in this part, but in the back, behind this curtain, where all the supplies are, it really got an out of hand. <laughs> to reach anything, I had to reach over several other things, and everything was behind something else. More usually under something else and behind something else. It was a, yeah, got an out of hand for sure. This guy is available. A kind of back to basics. This is a simple Cordovan sandblast with black stem. It's still a uh, resin stem, but, uh, but black, which is really unusual for me. I hardly ever do a black stem. But this is just simple, unfussy. Quite a light sunburst. Just enough to bring out a little texture. Cell stem. If you're interested in this guy, uh, just give me an email at devilsreef at gmail.com. Uh, and then probably after that it'll go up on the on the Etsy. On the Etsy page. Put that down there. And then, finally, a strawberry. Nearly back to basics. A Cordovan Sandblast. You can see where my head was at this week. Paired with earth and ivory stem, which is still just about my favourite go-to stem at the moment. Um, I know that the Starry Night has has appeared on a couple of pipes, but uh, I think when I'm all when I go, hmm, I wonder what stem to put on this pipe. 
I normally go straight to earth and ivory and then decide if that really is the way to go. And actually quite a lot of the times it is the way to go. <laughs> Again, you can actually you can see for some reason the straight grain is really prominent. You know, all the um yeah, all the straight grain on the on the bowl is just seen it's popped out more. There is some evidence of the ring grain. But it seems to be dominated by the straight grain. I don't know why that is. It's just, just briar. There you go. So, a strawberry and an acorn up for grabs. Now, I'm going away on Friday and uh, going away for a long weekend. So, if you either hit me up tonight if you see this video and it comes out, or it'll probably be well, actually, I say that. You never know. I, I check in on my correspondence very regularly, but just so you know, there might be some delay in my response over the next couple of days. Cela V. Uh, oh, did you watch the Eurovision Song Contest? I did. Uh, me and Steph did. Uh, and loved it this year. Normally it's a snooze fest. <laughs> you watch it anyway, it's a kind of a tradition. But this year, man, it was pretty good. Even the bad songs, actually some of them were really bad. You can't help that. But um, there weren't as many really terrible ones. A lot of them were, you know, passable. Which is like a step up. But um, a couple were even good. And two, I really liked, uh, the Australian entry uh, by a band called Voyager. Uh, the track was called Promise. And man, that has been an earworm in my brain for a week. It's just really good. Such a great song. I don't know what it was doing being on the Eurovision Song Contest. And then also there was a German band, Lord of the Lost, playing a song, uh, Blood and Glitter. And that was pretty darn good as well. Sometimes the, the Germans do like to throw the Eurovision Song Contest a bit of a curveball, <laughs> which is always amusing. All right, that's it from me. I'll be back, all things being well, uh, next week. So until then, hope you have a good week. Take it very easy. Your loyal pipe maker.